So my name is Polly Rowley Sams and I am the eco gardener in residence in Richmond Barracks. I am interested in ways of gardening that are sustainable, that, that involve nature and that help humans too. We investigate ways of improving the soil, ways of um, planting and planting beds that provide us with lots of colour and interest but are also maybe involving native species that can thrive well in this scenario. Um, this is a, there's a beach hedge around this garden and I thought it'd be really good to have a little bit of a mixture in the hedge of different types of trees. So things like this hawthorn here, to me that's really interesting because it's a, na it's a native tree and it's co-evolved with Irish weather and climate. Um, but inside of here we have a bit of feed going on, um, which is a very, very stinky feed, but it's made of this plant here, comfrey. A lot of snails in there. Um, it's made of comfrey and nettle and dock. And the idea is that it rots down and you can put it down into say like the apple tree that you have here and you can feed your plants without having to go and buy something from a garden centre. Another focus of mine is, is to do with improvement of habitat. So I'm really interested in adding in to existing habitat and also creating new habitats. I don't know if you can kind of get in here, but there's a little disc of water in there and uh, it's a little nature pond. The idea is it's just enough for an insect to get a drink en route to somewhere else. My name's Joan and I'm a retired psychiatric nurse. I retired about 12 years ago, so just before I retired, I was thinking, oh gosh, I'd have to find something to do with myself. So I decided beekeeping. So I took a beekeeping course in the local college and after that I got a hive. During the day I'm not here so much. I come when everybody is quiet. I don't want to be here when people um, are about when I'm at peace, you know. It's really great to be able to have the beehive and, uh, and this space to come and, and sit and relax and look at nature like there's a fabulous um, lavender hedge and when I come down in the evenings that is full of bumblebees it's amazing it's just extraordinary these little geraniums as well you see they're nearly gone now but they're very it's a very hardy plant and good for the bees as well it's amazing like it's a de-stressor to just sit and watch insects on a plant or a flower or butterflies or any of them. And all these plants here generate those um, kind of insects. And it's really one of the reasons I got into beekeeping was to help the bees, more so than to get honey or that sort of thing. I was very lucky to get this spot here and I'm very grateful. And it has been really good. It's secure. The bees are productive and touch wood. I don't think anybody other than myself has got a sting from them. <laughs> um, I'm Grace Gallagher. Um, I'm a member of WALK, our walking stand. Um, WALK is an organisation for people with intellectual disabilities. Hello, my name is Brendan Heed. I'm the mem member of WALK. And we planted the garden just up up here. We plant flowers, we plant fruit, veg, vegetable, all that right, right in the garden. We even just have put up a sign sign up and says walk. Hello, my name is Roland Harris. I work for a walk. We've come down to Richmond Barracks twice a week to water the plants and do other things. I like it because it keeps me occupied and doing things and involves, involves, involves me with a group and all that. It makes me feel good because it's outdoor and I like doing outdoor stuff as well. And this is a, is a fennel, a lovely herb. A symbol of a perf 
perfect guard. I also just really enjoy being here because it's a real community hub so there's lots of flow of different people and lots of trans transference of information so it's a very fertile ground for, for, for my work. So this is a seed sculpture and um, it's made out of this clay. So this one's been rolled in this tray here with a seed. I think this is a dolphin's barn mixture. So, uh, and a few sweet peas. So roll them in there, get a pencil, make your little hole, tie it with a string, and then you've got something that'll break down into the ground, wouldn't leave much trace, and maybe you'd get some wildflowers. What else would you want? Ruins, mountains and hills, so features of the landscape. So in the morning, we went and we broke up the oh, milk, like grass milk. Um, Maybe it's the grass, grass of Minecraft. Okay, what's that you have to say? 20 centimetres wide, like width, and 20 centimetres deep. There you go. Now you have to find worms in that pot. I'm not going to take the worms. I'm not going to take the and we took it out to find worms to see if they're all the same types of worms or if they're different types of worms. And then there's a grey worm, pale worm, and green worm. There's just so many types. I always thought that it was just like a worm and a worm's a worm that all the same in that way.